welcome to Red is Rain Crochet. Today we are going to be doing this really cute snow white dress. This is for a six to nine month old. I will attach the Etsy pattern below. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, well thank you guys for uh, deciding to do this snow white dress. I do appreciate it. Um, we are going to need a 3.5 millimeter hook and a 5.5 millimeter hook. And then the colors that you choose for the dress, which you saw most of the colors in the very beginning. So let's go ahead. What we're going to start with is the 5.5 millimeter hook. And we're going to be starting with the top of the dress. So that, um, in this case, is this darker blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and chain a foundation chain of 23. Okay, 23. Remember when you do your foundation chain, do not do it too tight. Kidok. And now what we want to do is go ahead and chain two and put your finger right here um, on that last stitch because this is going to just be our turning chain. And we're going to do um, half double crochets all the way across. So it should be 22 half double crochets. So whenever you guys do a tutorial, watch a tutorial YouTube video, the number one, th I don't go through scissors, needle, you guys know you need those things, um, but what you always want to have is a pen and a piece of paper, and that way you can write down instructions so that um, you have them handy. Okay, so we made it all the way across. We're going to chain two, and we're going to turn. What we are going to do is that we're going to do this exact same thing until we have a total of 13 rows of these half double crochets. Um, so go ahead and work on your 13, row, 13 rows. So you're going to have a nice long piece here. And we will meet back once you've got those 13 rows completed. Okay. Good luck. All right, my little peeps. All right, here's how we're looking. We're looking very nice. I'm so, oh wait, my camera keeps doing that. We're going to go ahead and chain two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on, we're going to make the shoulder straps. So we're just going to go ahead and crochet, half double crochet over five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, chain two, flip our work, and then we're going to go ahead and do three more rows just like this. So there'll be a total of four rows of this little shoulder here. Okay, there's two. This will be done pretty quickly. Three. Four. 
Okay, M4. And we'll go ahead and uh, cut our yarn. And what we want to do is we want to attach it to this side, sorry. And then we're going to do the same thing, a total of four rows on this side as well with five half double crochets. <clears throat> Whoops, try not to attach it like that. If you can attach it in the stitch, it's better than if you do it in that hole because it does leave a big hole when you do that. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and try to tuck our yarn. We always wanna try to tuck our yarn anytime we possibly can tuck our arm. <clears throat> Remember to go back into the same stitch And five, good deal. Chain two, flip. So after this, we're going to do the exact same um, thing all over again. We're going to go ahead and make another panel exactly like this. So you can go ahead and rewind it. Um, or maybe if you jotted it down, you can whip it up real quick. When you, when you guys um, are getting ready to do your shoulder straps, just bring your piece over and make sure that it is this exact same distance. The last thing you want to do is go ahead and build the straps and then start sewing it together. And then you find out that you counted one extra or one less on the body. Um, it's not going to make a difference if there's one more, if there is... 14 rows or 12 rows, it's only going to make a difference if one, one panel is bigger than the other panel. So just make sure that you double check that. Um, so go ahead and finish up this strap here. And then we're going to um, put the two pieces together and we're going to go ahead and sew them together. So we'll um, do the and we're going to go ahead and sew this together. Um, you want to leave about three inches for the armholes. Um, and, uh, whoops, I think I got myself all crazy there talking. One. See, there we are. Or I only did three on that side. Okay, now we look much better, don't we? Okay, so... Go ahead and cut that. I'm going to go ahead and sew my ends in now before I attach. And then um, I uh, will meet you guys back here after I've finished my second panel that looks exactly the same. And I will set it on top of it before we start sewing and make sure that everything is looking good. I'll meet you back then. Okay, good luck. Okay, now we're ready to put it together. We should have two pieces that look the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the right sides together. So where you chain, it's going to flare out here just a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it kind of flips like that. I am so sorry if this is doing this to this the camera on the lighting. And then this one on this side will flip as well. So put the two flippies together. And then what we're going to do is what we want to do is we want to leave a hole about three inches down as we crochet these together. So go ahead and measure and mark. And then um, just go ahead and make sure you're at the same spot on the other side and go ahead and mark that. And if you want, you can go ahead and go through both pieces if it's lined up and then that'll kind of hold it together a little better too while you are uh, sewing it together so we'll go ahead and do this side as well 
And sometimes um, it doesn't seem like it's exactly the same size, but that's because you might have been stretching one just a little bit more. So what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and um, sew up here together. We'll leave this open. We're going to sew this. This side. Whoops, not here. That's the arm. And then this shoulder together here. Okay, and I am going to just do that with a slip stitch is what I'm going to use. We are going to end up flipping this inside out or the other way around. That's why we put the finished edge together. It really doesn't make a difference if it isn't. Um, it just helps with a little bit of consistency, but like nobody really is going to know because we did it back and forth. You can't really tuck your tail when you do a slip stitch. So I'm just going to chain one and go ahead and just go down my side. It really doesn't matter um, exact placing because we're just getting this side put together. So I'm going to have you guys go ahead and do your sides and do your top of your shoulders. And then uh, I will meet you guys back here once you're done. It doesn't take very long to get this done. It's probably going to take longer to... So those little ends in that we have left over, then it is uh, to, to sew this up like this. So um, I will see you guys just in a little bit, okay? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just turn it inside out, right side out. <laughs> and we have got our little top started here nice guys very nice okay so let's go ahead and turn it this way and we're going to go ahead and join our yellow for our skirt and at this time we're going to be doing double crochets okay um so go whoops wrong hook make sure you still have your three or your 5.5 go ahead and chain two and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go around and we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch. Um, at the end of that, we should have 92 stitches. You are going to place two double crochets into the chain two space that you just did that in. So we're just going to keep going all the way around. Two double crochets in each stitch with a total of 90 two stitches and I will see you guys back here in just a while remember this is double crochets not half double crochets and I'll see you in a little bit okay we made it around 92 stitches chain two we're going to I'm sorry guys what we want to do here is slip stitch to the first double crochet, which is right here. So go ahead and slip stitch, chain two. There we go. And now what we want to do is we want to double crochet three in three stitches, go into the same one. One, two, three and then we're going to do an increase we'll do two double crochets in the next stitch and three one two three increase okay repeat that around three double crochets and then an increase three double crochets and an increase and i'll meet you back here Okay, we um, ended in an increase. If that didn't work out perfect, don't worry about it. Nobody cares what this count is. We're just making the dress, so it's really not a big deal. Um, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch again to that first uh, double crochet, chain two. And now what we're going to do, this, this should be 115 stitches around, but like I said, it, it really isn't making a difference whatsoever, so don't worry about it. Don't even count it. Um, nobody cares. Nobody will know. 
What we're gonna do now is 11 rounds of double crochets all the way around. You're gonna attach the same way with a slip stitch. You're gonna chain two and you're gonna double crochet back into that same stitch. And we're gonna do 11 rounds and make this dress really long. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some, do a little special frilly stuff at the bottom to make it look nice and pretty. Um, so it is gonna be a while until you guys get that done. So I'm gonna work on my side and you guys work on your side and I will meet you guys back here once you have 11 rounds done. Something I do suggest that you do, go ahead and put a stitch marker in this first stitch somewhere or wherever so that you know. So I know that the stitch above, this one right up here, this will be round um, one of the 11. And that way you don't really have to count. And if um, you can just, once you get quite a ways, then you can go back and count and go, oh, I only have one more round or two more rounds. Um, instead of trying to keep track with the counter um, on all 11 of, these, 11 of these rounds, you can just sit down and watch a movie and just relax and, um, and enjoy the double crochets. Double crochets are my favorite. They seem like the smoothest. I feel like I'm playing the violin. <laughs> I do like double crochets. They, they're, they're very nice to do. So you guys enjoy yourselves. And um, I will see you guys here in quite a while once you get your 11 rows done. All right. Look, we made it to our last row. Felt like that took forever, didn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach with a slip stitch, like we've been doing, but this time just chain one. Um, whoops, hold on. Attach with a slip stitch into the front loop only, and chain one. This is what I do a little different than the pattern. It just gives it a little bit more frail at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're going to chain one, and we're gonna single crochet in the front loop only, all the way around. So chain one, front loop only, single crochet, chain one, the whole thing is front loop only, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And see how it makes this kind of a, like a spiky um, look. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and then we're gonna attach the white onto the back loop Okay, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna show you guys here so you guys can get them both done before we meet back together and we start our poofy arms. Okay, so we got chain one, single crochet, and this <clears throat> will fold right over for you so you'll be able to see that back loop um, really easily. Don't want chain. Single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain. And then when it lays down on each other, it's gonna lay like this. It's gonna look real cute and it'll be nice and frilly all the way around. So that is our next step. Let's go ahead and go all the way around. Remember front loop only. Come back with the white and do the exact same. Chain one, single crochet in the back loop only. Go ahead and fasten off, sew in all your ends. And then we'll go ahead and get our two colors ready which is like the light blue and the red that we're gonna use, and we can get moving towards our uh, poofy sleeves. Okay, good luck, guys. All right, guys, I hope the bottom of your skirt looks like this. Doesn't that look cute? Now that you guys got it all done. All right, let's get started on the arms. So this I also do just a tad bit different than the pattern. Um, I don't ever like to connect a different color to a rough edge like this. Sometimes you have stitches that are further down and ones that are up higher, and I just think it's always a cleaner look. So we're gonna go ahead and do our first round with our same blue that we were doing before. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach that. We wanna start down here in the armpit area so that we can make up stitches if we need to, okay? So um, we're going to single crochet around so go ahead and chain one single crochet in the same space. Now we are going to do a total of 20 single crochets around. This should be in almost every like 
major hole. But what this will do is down here, we can see what we need to do if we need to make up. So we're going to go ahead and go around. That would have been one. So what else is nice is that we know that we're doing 20 stitches. So at about our halfway mark here, we should be at 10, right? So if this is a good place to go ahead and say, oop, I got too many because I need to be all the way around this area for my 10th <clears throat> single crochet. And I've already have too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So no way. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And I'm just going to adjust for that so that we um, we don't we're not crocheting all the way around, then realizing that we're short a bunch. This gives us a little bit better idea. Right. OK, so let's do one. Just keep looking ahead of you. And make sure that they're spaced out as pretty good. Okay. Um, and we are going to be able to um, reduce down here. So don't stretch it too far. It's okay. We can make it up down there. So I was at 10 and I'm tucking while I go. Now I'm at 11 and I'm right here is my seam point. And see how this is like not completely tightened right there or sewn together right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just reduce right here and get these two pieces together. Um, so it's a good a good place to reduce, plus I'm fixing that little bit of gap. So we're going to go ahead and reduce. So that made 12. Eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so I have one more stitch, but I've got quite a ways to go here. Whenever you have to, you're, you're over, you're, you don't have, when you have too many stitches, don't just skip. Just do a re, reduce, and that way it tightens everything up, and it looks really nice and sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and reduce again. And this is all just going to depend on what your three inches were and where you stopped uh, crocheting. That's why we have a good count. And I went ahead and reduced. And then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch here, chain one, and cut our yarn. Now when we attach that separate color, see, we're actually attaching it to the top of a single crochet. And it is going to look so much better than if we were to have attached it to that um, unfinished edge. And we'll pull that and we can just crochet and tuck that that back in um so pretty much we didn't have to sew any extra ends in. it wasn't too much extra work and now we're going to go ahead and go around with 20 single crochets one more time okay so we're going to chain one see if we can tuck both of them as we crochet single crochet in the same space and then I will meet you guys um, once you get all the way around. And if you guys want to go ahead and get your blue, your dark blue done on the other sleeve, so it's already ready to go, you guys can do that as well. Um, and because then we can get after that, the, the dark blue is going to be able to be put away. And I will meet you guys um, once we get back to that point. Good luck. Okay. So we made it around and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch 
This was a good chance to double check that we had 20 as well, one more time before we started getting crazy alternating colors. Okay, in chain one, we are gonna be bringing in our red, so go ahead and get that ready to be pulled in. So this is where it's gonna get a little confusing. So chain one more time. Now we're gonna be uh, changing to double crochets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three stitches in the light blue, two stitches in red. But we have to do two double crochets in each stitch around. So this is going to be, it's confusing until you're just actually doing it. So we're gonna do one, Two in the same, we're doing two in each stitch, remember? But we'll have three blue and two red. Okay, so I only have one double crochet in this stitch, but I have my three blue stitches completed. So now what we're gonna do, just take your sweet time in this. This is not fast, it wouldn't be fast for anybody because you have gotta remember all of these different things that are going on. You can tuck that light blue as we go. So there's only one stitch in there. So we're gonna go ahead and do a second stitch. But this one's gonna be in red. Now we have to go to the next stitch because that one already has two. But we're only doing one red. We're gonna drop our red, finish with our blue, keep everything nice and tight, tuck our red, a blue is gonna go into the same stitch here. Okay, so now we have two stitches in that stitch. Now we get a little break, we just gotta do two blues. Remember to grab your red right here and bring it up. Okay, we still have three blues and two stitches. So now we get to do two reds. Every other, every other combination will be easy <laughs> to do. And you'll notice that as we, as we go around here. On top of all this, you got to try to keep your yarn from not crisscrossing. This is, this is a little, a little uh, demanding. But I have faith, I have faith, I have faith. Okay. So. Two stitches, two blues. There's our third blue. Now we have to pull our red back up. And we have to go right back in there. We only have one stitch in there. Okay, now we're going to go to the next stitch. We're going to start with the red and pull our blue. Keeping in mind to keep everything nice and tight. Now we'll do three blues. So that finishes up that stitch. See, we have two in there. And at the same time, you're twisting this dress around. <laughs> this is the hardest part of this whole pattern. It's actually a pretty easy pattern until you get to this one. These, one, these little sleeves are kind of boogers here. Just always going back and checking that you have two stitches. There should be three blue, two red. Now we're back to the one that's a little bit easier. and tucking, tucking and tightening and swapping and counting and all that good. So I've got two reds. Let's do our three blues. Move to the next stitch.
drop our blue, grab our red, one more red, or one more, a red stitch in the same stitch. Spinning. Okay, we got two stitches in there, so we're gonna do our red. Pulling our blue back up. Okay, so this is what you guys are gonna do all the way around, okay? Keeping in mind that you should have three blue, one, two, three, two red, but that's not gonna match down here. So you're just gonna always wanna make sure that you have two stitches in each stitch from the round below. I will meet you guys back around once you guys are finished struggling with this because I know that this is not a simple task. So I will meet you guys back here and for okay. And now we should have two reds at the end. So I've got myself all tangled up. And go ahead and slip stitch. Chain two. And now we're going to do is we're going to just go all the way around two rows matching the color from the stitch below. So remember to crochet back into that first stitch, hide, tuck that red up under there so we can make sure it's dragging with us. So it'll be three blues, two reds, three blues, two reds, but no more of this having to put two in one stitch and get ourselves um, all confused and combobulated. So see, this one's much easier. Okay, again, still making sure things are tight. You don't want any, any drag or spin. You have to um, tuck your yarn like this and pull it back up again. It's very important that you give it a little yank to make sure you don't have an accidentally have this big bubble down in here on the back side because once that's done and you keep going around, there's really not much you can do except take a piece of yarn and actually try to um, like sew over it and hide it um, because it is it's already so tight with you've done tightened it up other places so um, again we're going to go ahead and do this which is all we're doing is matching the color below um, we are not increasing we are just doing what is underneath and we're going to do two rounds of this and I will meet you guys back here once you have finished two rounds of, there's no increases, we're just doing the exact same color underneath. Okay, I know the hard part was done, so good job. All right, guys, you did it. I hope you don't hate me. Okay, so guess what? We're done with our red. All right, so don't forget to come back and sew that in. We're gonna go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. And now we're gonna go ahead and single crochet two together all the way around. Very simple, two together, two together. Very simple, if we don't get it cut. Sorry, I keep going out of focus, this dress, I gotta, I gotta lean way back to flip it, you guys know. Okay. 
And your last two together, of course, um, should be red. Because that was our last two stitches, right? And just keep moving around here. It is important that when you do two together that you're keeping these stitches and you pull a little bit. The whole reason we're doing two together is to bunch something up so we don't want it all stretched out by no means. That second little pull I do right there, that'll come second habit to you guys after a while. Okay. That was our last two. That right there is our turn in chain. So we're gonna go ahead and come up in here. That was our chain one. So we should be, let me do this one more time. So we should be going into this stitch right here. That's the chain up and this was the chain from the last, okay? So up in this one here and slip stitch. Very nice. Chain one. Now we're going to do two single crochets and then we're going to single crochet two together. So one, two, and two together. One, two, two together. Always remember when you guys do. Um, stuff like this that you guys flip your um outfit or whatever it is that you're doing that's like like that's built like this that you don't see both sides of that you guys go ahead and flip it inside out and that you look for any any of those stragglers that need to be um trimmed up or um anything that you might have missed that needed to be um sewn in one, two, and two together. And if you're not positive where you're leaving off, because it gets very hard to do that when you single crochet, please go ahead and just place yourself a stitch marker in there. Okay, there we are. Chain one. And for the last round, we are going to single crochet around. And you should have 15 stitches. If you don't, I think if you've made it this far, kudos to you. I think you're going to be okay. And we want that single crochet to be nice and tight because that helps us kind of do, tighten up those, um, are reducing stitches of the two single crochets together. Always when you crochet in the round, there's this, when you do a chain one, not in the round, when you do a, a chain one up and then crochet in the same space, you're going to have this one stretched stitch right there. And I'm, hopefully you guys have noticed that earlier. That is not a stitch. Okay. Let's chain one and cut this bad boy. And then we can weave that in. And we can pop it out, and we got our really neat poofy sleeve. Now, don't hate me too much. You guys got to do that all over again. So rewind your, uh, rewind the video, and this it should not be as hard. You guys have got it. You got the gist of it. Remember, it's just that one round that's just so hard to do, 
and then two more rounds of the same colors on top and then um, our reducing rounds at the end here and that looks just so beautiful and then so you're in Zen and um, thank you guys for watching the, the dress video this will be the completion of the dress um, once you get your other sleeve done and uh, please follow the links below to go ahead and let's to do our booties and our headband and uh, if you guys want and that is completely up to you I do it I like to go ahead and go around with my dark blue one more time on this inside as well so I go ahead and just do one more round of single crochet around the top this part here looks finished but right here does not so go ahead and attach your blue excuse me and um and go ahead and crochet around here just kind of fiddling through this the best that you can that'll give that edge also a nice finished look and um and good luck and i will uh hope to uh hope to have you guys join me for the booty and the headband video thank you guys so much and once again always please like share and subscribe Till next time.